Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, I have the uh, newer NW880 timer and velometer remote control for your camera. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to do a tutorial on this one to explain everybody how to use it. So let's get in here and get started. Okay, this is quite easy. Let me uh, just turn our remote on here and, and see we got it pulled up. Now let's go with the first functions first. We have our little buttons here. This here is for your uh, normal shutter button you see here. And basically there's three modes to it. You know, first we have a CS, which is a single shot. So if you press the button once, it fires off one single shot. Okay. We hit the SL button here, we can go down, and we have a CH. Let's select that. And basically what it is, when you hit the little shutter button here, it keeps firing off constant shots over and over at a fairly high rate of speed. Okay. It has one more setting here. I'm going down and get a CL. Now this is a lower speed setting. So you can see it clicks off a little bit slower. Okay quite easy now we have a bulb mode and this was very easy to set very easy to use basically you use the button down here to start it when you go into bulb mode you just hit the shutter button and it starts kicking off in timer now this is holding the shutter down until you come up and hit the button once more then it will stop okay now we have a uh, little delay timer here and this one's pretty good this one's good if you want to set it up to wait so many seconds before it takes a shot it'll go up to a uh, 59 seconds and any a duration between one second and 59 but the extra feature you'll see over here with the number three as you can set it up to have however many shots you want it to take after that uh, amount of uh, delay has went by for example I have it set on five seconds here but if we hit our shutter button and see it counts off to five seconds. It takes one, two, and three photos, which is pretty good if you, you don't want your tripod to shake or anything, and you want to take some uh, exposure bracketed photos or something other. Okay, but here's what starts getting a little more complex and people not used to, and that is the intervalometer. Now, the first one says delay here. Of course, we know what delay is. That's how long the intervalometer will wait before it even starts working. So you can set it up quite a huge length of time here, you know, from, you know, seconds, minutes, hours, you know, quite uh, amount of long amount of time here. Now we go over and we have long. Now, long is how long it will hold the shutter button down when it takes a photo. Since you don't, uh, most of us just want to hit the shutter and release, you know, zero is a good place to start. But if you're taking different types of photos, you know, you'll know what you need when you get to this. You know, for most people, just leave it on zero. Now we have interv uh, uh, intervals here. And we can see we have this one set on two seconds. So therefore, it will wait two seconds before taking the next shot. Okay. Now we have N. Now this stands for the number of times you want it to take the shots. But here's where things get a little different. As you'll notice when we click on the button here to change the amount of times we want to click, go down to 1 to 99. Okay, well this might seem kind of interesting here. So we can go anywhere between uh, 1 and 99. Okay, let's select that. Now let's move over. Now we have something that most people have not run across before, and it was kind of new to me at first. And this is Re. This is basically where it restarts over again. So after it's went through the first setup intervals, you can tell to here to wait 10 seconds and take it again. So if you'll, we go back, you'll notice I had it take three photos at two seconds apart. So basically this thing is now saying, hey, we'll take three photos two seconds apart, but we'll wait 10 seconds before we take each group again. Okay. Now we go over here and we have N2. Now you'll notice we have two little hyphen marks here. This means infinity. So when it's set to that, it'll keep going nonstop. So basically, right now it's set to take three photos, two seconds apart, then wait 10 seconds and do it for an infinite amount of times. 
Now, here's where we can go through and change this. We can now go from one, infinite, or 99. So we can go up and take a 99 groups of uh, 99 photos, which is a huge amount of photos. So basically, if you want to set, say, this one for, say, 300 photos, and you notice it only says 99 here, we can easily go in here, we can go back the other direction, and set this one for easily 10, okay? But we don't want any uh, time in between those, so we can set that down to zero, or one second, thanks to the lowest setting on it. And we can go here and put in something like 30. And of course, 30 times 10 is 300. Okay. So now it would take every two seconds, it would take a photo for 300 times using the 30 times 10. And that's how you set this one. So if you wanted it to basically, if you go down here and put it on infinite, and you go back over here to where it's just in one, it doesn't matter what you got this one set on. You can leave it set on one if you want it to go for infinite amount of times, because it will always just infinitely keep going. So that's how to set up and use the uh, newer NW880 intervalometer. I hope everybody liked this tutorial. Hope everybody found it helpful. And I hope this explains how to set up this darn thing because it was quite a challenge for me to figure out exactly what it did and how it worked using the supplied instructions that you were sent with it. But overall, it's a really good infolometer. I highly recommend it. And uh, that's this tutorial, everyone. I hope it's been helpful. If you like this video, you found it helpful. How about giving me a thumbs up? <laughs> thumbs up, we can zoom out. Here we go, thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, you know, please subscribe. Subscribe. It's free. It's for you. and lets you know when I release more videos. And until the next time, everyone, thank you for watching.